Is it spaghetti? It's okay, Strawberry. Every berry needs to know how to get around the city on the funnel system. Luckily, you have me to teach you. It can be very complicated, so do exactly what I do and memorize everything I say. We'll start here at Rhubarb Station and take the Pineapple Express to... <gasps> Yo. Ah! Strawberry? I'm... Lost little berry, what you gonna do? Lost little berry, help is gonna find you. Hey there, you okay? Hi, I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Can you and your pet rat help me? Ferret, actually. He's Red Hot, and I'm Huckleberry Pie. We play here in the funnel system for all our fans. We can probably take a break. Thank you! I have no idea how the funnel system works. <sighs> Figuring it out is easy. You just have to do it. But I don't know what I'm doing. What if I mess up? Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. I feel a little overwhelmed and filled with fear. Oh, you'll be fine. Not sure what I should do with just take your time. But what if I choose wrong and mess up this cute song? Well, then we'll start again. It's no big deal. Just try a little something new. And I promise when you do, you won't be as scary as you thought. And you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new. And I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay. Cause I believe. You know, be brave and choose your way, and you'll be okay. And if you're not, we'll back it up and start again. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it won't be as scary as you thought, and you'll be fine and make it through. So try a little something new, and I promise when you do, it's gonna be all okay, cause I believe. cake system. Also, you are really talented. Music is my passion. <gasps> like baking for me. Baking? Well, eating is my second passion. Strawberry! Lime? Lime? I found you. Did this rat hurt you? Ferret, actually. And I'm fine. Huckleberry Pie helped me. He's a musician. Actually, Huck, why don't you come with us to the Berry Works? I'm sure every berry would love your music. Uh, sorry, Strawberry. I just can't disappoint my fans down here. Right. Well, at least let me give you a thank you, Cupcake. See ya! Mm. Mm. On second thought, uh, maybe it's time for Red Hot and I to expand our musical horizons. There are more cupcakes at the Berry Works, right? <laughs> Now that is a winter swirl tree. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Hmm, quick question. Why is Sour Grapes attacking the tree? She decorates it every year. Winter swirl. <laughs> Whoa. Deck the halls. This tree is like my soul. Winter swirl trees should be magical, glowing beacons of hope! Isn't there any berry else who could... Hold this cone. I've got an idea. Lemon would be great, but she's gonna say no. Why? Lighting a tree seems like a totally lemon thing to do. Whoever decorates the tree has to give a speech at the tree lighting. Lemon? Not really an outgoing berry, so why are you making that face? 
You know who is an outgoing berry? Me! <laughs> who better to turn Lemon into the perfect public speaker? Hi! Yeah, we've decided you're decorating the winter swirl tree this year. <gasps> no, 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 no! I don't do speeches. But you can make this place look more amazing than any other berry. Oh, that is true. And the speech? Pfft, easy once we turn you into a speech-giving machine. Please? Oh. Speech-giving machine activated. Ugh, that sounded better in my head. Fine. What do I do? Use descriptive words. You aren't lighting a tree. You're illuminating the spirit of the season. Uh -huh. Look every berry in the eye with a look that says, Hey, you! Listen to what I'm saying! Uh -huh. If you get nervous, just think of every berry in their underwear. Gross. And last but not least, smile, be yourself, speak from the heart, and you'll be perfect. You get all that? Uh. Great! Show us what you've got. <gasps> hey there. Arr! So... Arr! I, uh, wanna illuminate the... Lots of spark berries. Underwear! We all have it! In summary, trees. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> okay, that was... Well, see, this is why I never wanted to light the tree in the first place. The thing about being an outgoing berry is sometimes you forget not every berry is as outgoing as you. Um, Lemon? I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk at all. I know, I know. Just, just listen. I shouldn't have tried to force you to do something you didn't want to do. You're perfect just the way you are. You're just so good at decorating. Huh? Yeah, well, if I didn't have to give a speech, I'd love to. Why are you making that face? The thing about being an outgoing berry is you can speak up for your friends who don't like speaking as much by getting rid of silly rules like having to give a speech. <laughs> My pal Lemon is going to let her work speak for itself. <laughs> <laughs> now that was an awesome speech. Yeah, I am pretty awesome. Chocolate and rum raisin? Been done. Pineapple and grass. Too sour. Coming up with unique ice cream flavors isn't easy. You have to clear your mind and let the universe guide you to something truly tastastic. Caramel and relish. <laughs> Some days the universe isn't very helpful. Hmm, I'll try this and this and this. Too many flavors. So Blueberry, I've got a butter cake that needs a little something extra. And that something extra is ice cream. I mean, it's a vanilla butter cake, and the only ice cream flavor I can think of to go with it is vanilla. And I mean, come on, vanilla on vanilla is just so obvious. And I don't want to be obvious, so I do not want vanilla. But what flavor do I want? You're the expert, what should I do? Vanilla. Right. That's what I don't want. <laughs> Blueberry, are you okay? <gasps> Cheesecake! Blueberry's frozen! No, not just frozen! She's got brain freeze! Why didn't you tell me? Blueberry is usually so creative, she comes up with flavors no berry would think of. But not if she's got brain freeze. I have got to unfreeze her so she can get back to brainstorming brilliant ice cream for me. I mean herself.
been here all day. This campfire's our last chance to thaw her out. At least we can snack while we wait. Marshmallow and cheese. Yeesh! <laughs> that is an interesting combo. I mean, Blueberry would love it if she ever snaps out of this whole frozen thing. If the campfire doesn't work, I'm not uh -huh. sure what we'll do. Hey! Maybe some sort of song? Or... Oh, maybe some hot peppers. Yeah, that could... Ow! Oh, pull the scone! It's not about warming up her body. It's about warming up her creativity. With something weird, wacky. <gasps> this sweet, cheesy, smoky combo should do the trick. Cheesecake, why didn't you think of this? Marshmallows, cheese, and smoke! The perfect pairing of sweet and savory! I'll call it Camembert Campfire Crunch! Yeah! Woo! My butter cake is saved! <laughs> huh. Camembert Campfire Crunch, okay! Love it! Oh, yeah! Oh, my taste buds! So, yeah, I went with vanilla on vanilla. This is for smoothest smoothie, most protein-packed smoothie, ooh, tootiest, fruitiest smoothie. Everyberry cleared up pretty quickly for that one. Woo, woo! Wow, Orange, that is a lot of trophies. But not all of them. I've won every trophy at the Splendidly Scrumptious Smoothie Competition except one. Most creative smoothie. Huh. How come? I like structure, rules, goals. Creativity is just making stuff up. How can you win at that? <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Orange needs a crash course in creativity. I mean, if only we knew the perfect berry to help her out. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> uh. You sure about this, Shortcakes? Blueberry's the most creative berry we know. She can totally teach you. Right, Blueberry? The first rule of creativity is... The final rule! <laughs> uh-uh. Oh, just give her a chance. Yeah, give her a chance. <laughs> Who are we talking about? Meet the fruit. Feel the fruit. Be the fruit. None of this makes any sense. Ah! That's kind of pretty. You're getting it. <laughs> 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 you really did help bring out Orange's creative side. Orange's inner artist could always sing. I just turned up the volume. Turn it up. Berries, stop your blending. Great <laughs> job, Orange. Oh, that's mine. <laughs> what do we think? Does his face say, wow, this is so creative? Well... Uh, oh, it tastes like juicy socks. Maybe? It's okay, Orange. Most artists don't get the respect they deserve until they're dead. <clears throat> Before we declare a winner, we have an announcement. The judges decided to create an entirely new category for one of this year's more unique entries. So, the award for Worst Smoothie goes to... Orange Blossom! Worst Smoothie? Created just for me? This is way better than most creative! My own category! The thing about creativity. It's not about being the best. But 
I am the best at being the worst. <laughs> it's about being you. Exactly. Art is a journey. Eh, just go with it. Sup? Lemon, between the crowd and the 75 mini peach trifles I need to bake for, peach trifle, I'm swamped! Need help? What I need is two of me. The moment I've been waiting for. Meet the Cakeinator Six! Oh, wait, the Cakeinator? <laughs> what happened to one through five? Worry about it. I, I don't know, Lemon. Come on, the Cakeinator's programmed to bake the perfect treat. It's just like having two of you. Well, uh, how's it work? Just pop a sparkberry in its mouth and tell it what to bake. Uh, okay. <laughs> ah! I am the Cakeinator. <laughs> I need 75 mini peach trifles. 75 mini peach trifles confirmed. Okay, so I usually mix it with my lucky spoon, and then I... Lucky spoon does not compute. Activate mixer fingers. So after the whole oven fiasco, I was nervous about another lemon invention, but that Cakeinator gets things done. The cakes need 30 minutes to bake. You can't rush perfection. 30 minutes does not compute. Activate repulsor hands. Oh, okay, wow. You baked it in no time. But don't rush layering in the peaches and cream. That takes finesse. Welcome to the extraordinary berry. One apple fritter, please. I'm so sorry, Honeydew Sorbet, but we're sold out of fritters today. Sold out does not compute emergency apple fritter protocol. Well, I guess you don't need me. <laughs> I'll just, I'll take a little break back here. Little break does not compute. Of course it doesn't. What kind of baker am I supposed to be if a robot can do my job? I guess I'm not as special as I thought. We stop, Ellie. My fit is different today. Oh, the Cakeinator didn't add the dash of cinnamon you like. Strawberry, that metal version of you put berries on my pie. And won't give me extra powdered sugar. Sorry, Huck. A new berryless piece coming up. And I've got your powdered sugar right here. Extra ingredient does not compute. Imperfect item does not compute. Our treats don't have to be perfect, Cakeinator. They just need to be made with love. That's the Strawberry Shortcake Touch. Mwah. Strawberry Shortcake Touch does not compute. <laughs> oh. What happened? I told it our treats didn't have to be perfect, that they just needed a little love, and it blew up. Love, huh? That tracks. Lemon, I think it's better if I handle the baking by myself. It's okay. I got another idea. Let me guess, the Cakeinator 7? <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> Winter Swirl is such a beautiful holiday. Peace on Earth, goodwill towards other berries. Presents! Can we start the gift exchange? Can we? Once we're all here. Where's Strawberry? Here! I'm here! I'm... Ooh, this is so heavy. <sighs> I don't like to brag, but Winter Swirl gifts? Totally my jam. A perfect gift shows you really get your friends. And I get the perfect gift for every berry. These might be the most perfect gifts ever. <laughs> I don't know about most perfect, but... Wait for me! I'm here! I got it! Didn't want to miss the gift exchange. I've got the most perfect gift from my favorite berries. <laughs> it's not a competition.
Because if it was, I'd clearly be the winner. It's a family tradition. It's the best gift I can give. A song. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wonderful time of year. I love it. Is there more? Up to you. That's the gift. We make this song together. A song as a gift is bad enough, but a song you don't even finish. I'd rather get socks. <sighs> don't pay any attention to those berries. We get it now. Try again. It's a wonderful time of year. So much joy, so much cheer. Merry berries far and near. And all around us, winter swirling. So many things we can do. Deck the halls and shopping too. It's more fun when I'm with you. And all around us, snow is whirling. Hey! Winter swirling in the air. Nothing outside can compare. It's a holiday without you. The magic is swirling all around. Joy abounds and I have found it's true. What's a holiday without you? All the sounds and smells are sweet. Time to bake up all the treats. Every berry loves to eat. And all around us, winter swirling. you give. It's about who you give it to. And Huck gave us all something really special. But I still give really great gifts. My first very New Year's Eve in Big Apple City. This is going to be the best night ever! Right, Berries? Why are we out in the cold again? Why are we staying up so late? And why does bubblegum grow on trees? It doesn't? Huh. That answers that question. We have to stay up until midnight so we can make our super special New Year's wishes. My Granberry Jam always says, A New Year's wish at the stroke of midnight always comes true. Granberry Jam wishes? Uh, wishes don't come true. What are you, a little sprout? No berry believes that stuff. Right, Raspberry? Yeah. Totally. <laughs> no berry. Anyways, what are you berries wishing for at midnight? More hours in the day! Being this much of a boss? Way more than a 24-7 commitment. Well, if we're getting crazy, I'd love a first edition of the classic Anna K. Karenina. World peas. So every berry has access to healthy snacks. A year filled with explosions! <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> what about you, Strawberry? Ooh, well, I always have a wish list up my sleeve. <laughs> Literally. I mean, it's narrowing it down to the perfect wish that's the problem. Well, you still got time till midnight. Better keep my energy up. <sighs> Pinch me if I fall asleep. <sighs> Ow! Wow, you're good. <laughs> this is a job for my warmer upper 600. Ah, nice. Warm. Oh, 
too specific, too fantastical, too retro. This is a New Year's wish. It needs to be just right. Who <sighs> 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 will pinch me if I fall asleep? <sighs> 32? 33? Ooh! Guys, I think I have it narrowed down to the top 10 best wishes! How will my wish come true if I don't even know what to wish for? You can get this. Just pick something you want to do and make a wish. And someday soon it could come true. Where to start? What could it be? A special wish that's just for me. So many dreams I see. And I think I know what. Hi, Raspberry. <gasps> oh, it's you. You wish on a midnight star, too? Of course. My grandmama marmalade taught me. After all, a New, New Year's wish, wish at the stroke of midnight, midnight always comes true. true. Okay, don't make it weird. Every berry has a grandparent. It's no big deal. I wish to be the best baker in Big Apple City. I guess that's your wish, too. Nope. I mean, yes, I do want to be the best baker, but I don't think that's this wish. I wish to make even more amazing friends this year in Big Apple City. Raspberry? Berry, where are you at? If you tell any berry that I made a wish, I will totally find some way to embarrass you. <laughs> Very happy New Year, Big Apple City. critic for the Big Apple City Galette. A review from her can make or break a Barry's baking career. I'm gonna have to pull out all the pops on this one. See what I did there? <laughs> Cake pops, because, yeah. All right, Custard, we are as baked and ready as we'll ever be for Genoise La Creme. I wonder what she looks like. Hey, girl! Excited for Genoise La Creme? Sure am. Since you're new, we just wanted to make sure you're ready. We did? Ugh. I thought you two would love nothing more than for me to fail and have to lug my truck back to Berryville with my sfoglia tele between my legs. See what I did there? Sfoglia tele? Tail? No? Anyway, we have our differences, but the more good reviews we can get from Genoise, the better it'll be for every berry at the Fairy Works. Well, then, thanks. Okay, then, I'm going to keep an eye out for Genoise. <gasps> uh huh. That short, buttercream colored hair, obnoxiously bright floral print shirt. That's not what she. Right! And her hideous, wide-brimmed hat. Whoa! Yeah, that is not how I picture Jen was at all. But I guess you can't judge a berry by their career-ending critical commentary. Thank you! <laughs> I, uh... Hello there! I'm Strawberry Shortcake. Well, hey, sugar! I'm... I know who you are. <laughs> Allow me to sweep you off your sweets. Cake Pop? I can't believe she fell for it. While Strawberry woos that random grandma, I'll get the real Genoise La Creme to myself. Oh, there she is. Go ahead, sugar. Cake my day. 
Oh, today was just the tastiest treat. <laughs> you sure know how to bake some berry feel special strawberry shortcake. Oh, you stop it. <laughs> Be sure to share those cupcakes with your cranberries. Ooh, rough day. To put it mildly. Well, I bet it is nothing a cake pop can't make better. Here you go, on the house. Holy donut! That's Genoise La Creme? <laughs> Should have known. <laughs> At the Berry Works, the cake pop is king. Or should I say queen? The sugary purveyor of the extraordinary berry not only makes a divine dessert, but refreshingly treats all of her guests from food critics to out-of-town grandmas like VIPs. Two crumbs way up! Woo! Not bad for a day's work, Strawberry. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> <sighs> Not again! It's Sweetie Pie's Day. It's Sweetie Pie's Day! AKA the sweetest holiday, AKA the day when I get my sweet friends the sweetest presents I can to show how much I love them! AKA love is in the air. <gasps> a meditation pillow shaped like a chocolate bar. Tranquil and tasty. Chocolate trophy? For the sweetest smoothie maker I know. Aw, thanks, shortcakes. Orange, you glad I love you, Orange? Get it? Orange? Because your name is. <clears throat> yeah, I'll workshop that a bit. <gasps> a book about chocolate made of chocolate? Lots of love for you. Woo! <laughs> to cocoa bean or not to cocoa bean? Day. I just want to give you your Sweetie Pie's Day present. I don't want it! <sighs> Look, it's nothing personal, but personally, I hate Sweetie Pie's Day. <laughs> but why? Sweetie Pie's Day is all about love, Ooh, feelings, handwritten cards, Ooh, writing about feelings, and hugs! Hugs are the worst. Down with hugs! Lemon? Don't you want to show your friends how much you love them? Of course I do, but Sweetie Pie's Day, it's all about sharing your feelings. Oh, every berry gives me stuff and I don't know what to do or say and it just makes me feel weird. Okay, no feelings. Just open it. A chocolate bolt? You show us you care all the time with your ingenious inventions, like my amazing Berry Berry Oven. So this is my way of saying thank you for all the times you show us how much you care. Your way. Huh. I know, it's Sweetie Pie's day, and you won't want to talk feelings and stuff, but since I don't want to, I thought I'd show you how much you mean to me instead. With this little invention I like to call the Meister 3000! Hugs aren't my thing, but this guy loves us. Don't look now, but I think you just shared some feelings. Turns out, I like to show I care, just in my own way. Honestly, the best hugs are the ones I don't need to be a part of. 
group hug, everybody. Oh, I love you so much. Hurt. What's with all the yelling? My strawberry pies! I set them out to cool and look! I even put a sign out, hot pies, only eat when cool. But now, some berry decides to come along and gobble them up. This really bakes my bread, you know? Who would do such a horrible thing? Oh, I can find the culprit. Yes! Lime is an awesome detective. Is that a donut? Crack a clue, take a bite. I've read a lot of Apricot Christie mysteries. I know all the tricks to find the who, what, where, when, and hi. Mm. Also, I really like donuts. I don't think there are many clues to go on. It's all just a mess. Yes, this crime scene is a mess. No berry would eat pie like this. We are clearly looking for an animal. An animal? <gasps> This cat's paws don't match the markings in your pies. Therefore, she is innocent. Ha. Wow, you are good. Oh, I'm just getting started. Red Hot the Ferret, our next suspect. He is? What do you know about it? Ferret. Get out of town. Red Hot would never steal from a baker as sweet and generous as Strawberry. Aww. Thank you, Huck. Besides, he's been with me all day. Uh, hey, let us help. Leave no bag of flour unturned, no critter unquestioned, no pie left behind. Checked every animal, followed every lead, but I had nothing. Are you narrating right now? Here, Huck, you can have the last bite. I don't deserve it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, it's okay, Lime. You tried your best. I'll just have to keep a closer eye on Huckleberry Pie did it. <gasps> I would never. You ate my donut like an animal. Just like the pies. Why would I steal from Strawberry? She gives me pies for free. Um, say what now? Her sign said, hot pies only eat when cool. Strawberry likes my music. She thinks I'm cool. So she leaves those pies out for me. That's not what the sign means, is it? No not even a way. little. Wow. I stole the pies, didn't I? Uh -huh. Yeah, totally. Just wow. Oh, I'm sorry, Strawberry. I really did think those were thank you pies for my smooth and jazzy tunes. I do think you're cool, and your tunes are very smooth and jazzy. <laughs> Just check with me next time. There's still one mystery left. Why do you eat pies like that? Big Apple Fair's pie eating champion, three years in a row. No better way to enjoy a pie. Okay, berries, on your mark. Get set. Go! <laughs> Pies do taste better this way. Another mystery? So. Presenting my world famous Choco Mint Pie. I just need to clip some leaves from my mint on the roof. Yeah, that mint grew fast. If it isn't carefully tended to, it can run over anything in its path. I can take care of that easy peasy. With what, clippers? Uh, something like that. <laughs> the Incinerate 5000. I'll go get it. Have you seen Lemon use that thing? Wait up, Lemon. Let me help you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't see this ending well. There are less destructive ways to take care of an overgrown plant. Clint, 
would never forgive himself if anything happened to his friends. Clint, who's Clint? The Mint. You know I speak plant. I think I speak for all plants when I say plants can't speak. According to Farmer Fig's latest guide to gardening, the first thing we need to do is trim the vines. Oh, wait! You can't cut his vines now! Clint's playing rock, paper, scissors. Great move. Another W for the Clintster. <laughs> yes, Gerald, I know a piece of paper wouldn't beat a rock in real life. This guy. Farmer Fig says spraying a solution of salt, soap, and vinegar will tame unwanted plant growth. Clint, old chum, I'm here for you. Tell this berry what we should do. Whoa, you're trying to make Clint sad. Soap, salt, and vinegar smells real bad. Mm. Clint says I should go on tour. Ah, oh, what a charmer. We'll never get this done if Blueberry shoots down every idea. Then maybe ask her what she thinks. She thinks she speaks plant. We don't always need to agree with our friends. Just listen to them. Mm. Clint, don't worry. I'm thinking about something. I'm... Blueberry, what do you think we should do? It's not about me. Let's ask Clint. Just so you know, Farmer Fig says that if we dig the mint roots up, we can... Move, move it into, into its, its own pot. pot. <gasps> Did you just agree with Farmer Fig? No. Clint agreed with Farmer Fig. He also said he'd be most comfortable if you did the digging line. He trusts you. You're really smart. Clint. Bye, Clint. I still don't believe that plants can talk. But it was nice of you to say I was smart. Thank you, Clint. <gasps> oh. And done. Here you go. Thanks, Thanks strawberry. strawberry. <laughs> All right. It's incinerate time. <laughs> Actually, blueberry and lime work together to take care of the mint. But I saved you some pie. Let's do this! Or pull! <laughs> oh, I meant for you to eat that. I love the smell of burnt pie in the morning. Anybody else done? Cranberry <gasps> uh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> jams is the most important ingredient in any dish is love. Unless that dish is gooseberry pie. Then it's gooseberries. Nutritious, delicious, and makes me ambitious. I'm training for the all-city cherry thon, and nothing gets me amped like gooseberry smoothie. I need some quality gooseberries to nail this recipe. Fortunately, Orange Blossom told me there's only one place in Big Apple City to get good gooseberries. Mr. Mango Steen's Fruit Stand. Good, Good morning, morning, Mr. Mr. Mango Scene. Morning, girls. What can I do for you? One, One carton, carton of gooseberries, please. I'm sorry, girls, but I just sold out. Last batch is going to Mrs. Crumbcake all the way across town. Oh. Of course, it was a big order. I bet she'd have enough berries left over for just one more recipe. <gasps> oh, there goes my delivery boy now. should have the berries. You told me about the fruit stand. Uh, no, you should have them. I insist. Okay, bye. <laughs> Seriously? You insisted! I insisted because I thought you'd insist a bit more on return. Wow, orange is fast. You can see Sunberry, who will not be getting any gooseberries today. <laughs> no pictures. Wow. Shortcakes is resourceful. Wow. Did I mention orange?
orange is fast, but hey, she's not gonna beat a bus, right? Please tell me she won't. I'll save you some berries! Yeah, it uh, really, really gets crowded in here, doesn't it? I know, right? Lady? That's unfair! Unfair? You got on a bus! That's a really good point! I need wheels! Girls, what can I do for you? Gooseberries! If, if I, I don't, don't get, get them, them, I can't, can't make tripod, tripod and I'll lose my baking in China! Oh dear, I was just going to use them to make juice for my granddaughter. Glammy Clum Cake says gooseberry juice will make me big and strong. You know what? It's not a big deal. <laughs> uh, I think we're at the wrong house. Enjoy that gooseberry juice. So, that got weird. It did. You wrote an ostrich. I did. We got a little carried away. No berry is worth all that. Totally, totally. Especially since elderberries would be a great substitute in a pie anyway. Oh yeah. I mean, they have the same nutritional value as gooseberries. I saw one last star at Mangosteen's. <laughs> Shortcake and her trusty sous chef custard. Custard? Custard? Custard! Shortcake? Huh? What wow. is it? Caramel popcorn! I yell when I'm hungry too. I was busy and custard wandered off and now I can't find her, which makes me a terrible person and an even worse cat mom. Popcake always disappears. I think he does laps around the building. I'm pretty sure Parfait eavesdrops. Frappe takes off all the time. You know, when I get too chatty. Sup? Cheesecake runs an underground poker game for other animals. She counts the cards. Blueberry Muffin is very creative with her facts. She makes them up. None of you know where your pets are? Hey, 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 hey. Don't worry, Shortcakes. We'll work together to find all the pets. Thanks. I've studied every inch of the Berry Works. I'll lead the pet rescue. Do we really think the pets wandered in here? Where is here? These are the original storage rooms. It's fascinating, actually. <laughs> Constructed when this was all apple trees, the Big Apple Berry Works led to the small town of Apple Grove becoming Big Apple City. And the apple trees were planted by a magical berry guardian who sprinkled enchanted seeds from high above the clouds. True story. Not true. Custard? <laughs> Custard! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. painting of Jay Quincy and his wife Henrietta Cupcake. History says her recipes inspired Jay Quincy to start his cupcake factory. Of course, it was the flock of Tutti Fruity toucans who flew down from the forbidden fruitlands that inspired Henrietta. Again, not true. Tutti Fruity toucans are not an actual breed of bird. That's true. Except in the forbidden fruitlands. The forbidden fruitlands are not a thing. Okay, okay, I think we should just focus back on what's important here. Yeah, like why is that whisk upside down? Jay Quincy said great recipes start with whisking. Legends say his whisk was magical and led to his success. That's why he hid it in a secret room and... No, I've researched the berry works for years. No berry guardians, no toucans, no magic whisk, and definitely no secret room. Legends say... History says... All right, all right, enough with...
with the history and the legends. We're here to find the pets, not to talk about why the Berry Works was built, where the secret room is, or why this whisk is upside down. Secret office? I knew it was true. Custard! <coughs> what a cool room! And we never would have found it if it weren't for my kooky cat. <laughs> um, what were you saying about those toucans? Well, legends say that tutti fruity toucans can grow as big as airplanes, and they only eat grapes. They don't like anything else. It's really good. <laughs> the best thing about living in Big Apple City is there's always something amazing happening. Like today, the Berry Works is holding a golden berry challenge. Yeah, I have no idea what it is, but it sounds cool and I am going to win. Let's it up! Every berry touches the golden berry. If you break contact for any reason, you're out. Whoever is left touching it at the end wins the secret prize hidden inside. <laughs> Three, two, one, go! It's just us now. We are awesome! Ready to give up? Never! Hey, what do you think is inside of this anyway? Oh, an endless supply of books! Books? No way! It's a Slicer ZX Kiwisaki dirt bike! Sorry, there is no way a Kiwisaki fits inside that berry. No one does, though. Spark berries! Enough spark berries to fuel my greatest invention, the machine machine. A machine that makes smaller machines. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do the smaller machines do? I will get back to you on that. I bet the prize is a perfect song. <laughs> So, there's like a speaker inside. No, just a song. It will play once and disappear forever. That's an interesting theory. What do you think, Strawberry? <gasps> Sprinkles! Wait, no, no, no. Chocolate chips? No! Sprinkle chips. <laughs> <laughs> More coconut flakes with a pinch of. Uh. Strawberry? Aw, fiddle faddle! So I guess that means blueberry's the winner? Uh huh. Uh huh. This pigeon is so interesting. Uh, with no clear winner, I think the prize goes to. MC! Actually, I think he's the winner. Frappe was stuck there the entire time? I cannot believe we didn't notice that. You did say whoever was left touching it at the end was the winner. Ugh, fine. The frog is the winner. Ooh, let's see what's inside. It's a gift card. To Guava Spava. That's really so boring. Nice? A gift card might not be what we had our hearts set on, but maybe it's exactly what Frappe wanted. What would a frog possibly want with a gift card to a spa? <laughs> Three emails, two meetings, and one yellow.
yoga class, and then I am good to go. Perfect. As soon as I finish these strawberry jelly donuts, I'll meet you at Garscone. <laughs> Did you say Garscone? Oh. Yep. Aunt Praline is taking me out for a girls' night. W-O-W, Garscone is the hottest restaurant in Big Apple City. The food is... What are you gonna wear? I was just gonna wear this. Close the truck. We're going shopping. I am not fancy. I don't need to get all dressed up to have dinner with my aunt. Strawberry has to get dressed up to have dinner with her aunt. It's Garscone! Blooming Berries is the place to find the perfect look for tonight. I don't know, Lime. This just seems too fancy for me. <laughs> Uh, why are you looking at me like that? Really flowy fantasy, go big, go bold, be fun, be free. Really flowy fantasy, go big, go bold, be fun, be free. A fancy night out on the town, that's super fun, so lose that frown. Let's go get you ready for your big night. Okay, you don't know what to wear, you got this girl, so don't despair. Time to get you ready for Garscone. It's just not really perfect for me. You know what? I I'm not hungry anyway. Maybe I'll just tell Aunt Paling we can rain check for another night. Maybe when it comes to dress up, I can get a teensy bit carried away. <laughs> huh? <gasps> Wait! Jelly donut! Jelly what now? Nobody cares what's on the outside of a jelly donut. It's what's inside that matters. Dressing up is fun, but I know that no matter what you wear, you're gonna be a huge hit. You're you. Fabulous. Well, that is all thanks to my fashion guru, Lime Chiffon. Clearly. I mean, you look very fashion forward. I always try to look my very best. <laughs> 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 